What if I told you there was a single simple platform to run things like Automatic 1111 for stable diffusion locally on your computer, or Animate Diff to create really cool AI animations, or tools to make voice clones, or face swaps, or run large language models that are open source directly on your computer, and it works on Mac, it works on Windows, and it works on Linux, and it's completely free to use. Well, that exists and it's called Pinocchio. You can find it over at Pinocchio.computer. Pinocchio is actually spelled P-I-N-O-K-I-O. -I -I this is a tool that I've had my eye on for several months. Many people have told me about it. I've taken a peek at it, but I've been hesitant to play around with it for a couple reasons. First of all, this Pinocchio.computer website here is a really basic website. It's got a headline, it's got a YouTube video. It shows you what kind of tools you can install, and that's, the entire website. And it's created by this person who seems to be either anonymous or pseudo anonymous who goes by Cocktail Peanut. And the fact that the site was so simple and I didn't really know who was actually behind this platform has kind of put me off from trying it out. However, this has been around for several months now and a handful of people that I really trust that actually understand the code underneath it have looked through it, they've vetted it, they've told me that this is a legit tool that works really, really well. And once you've got it set up, you can do things like face fusion to swap your face with anybody else's face inside of a video. You can do things like illusion diffusion, which was a really trendy style of image a few weeks ago where you got these like swirls that blended with house pictures or these like checkerboard patterns that actually had a little image of a town inside of it. It's got a voice cloning tool. I don't know if it's pronounced Koki or Kokwi, but it's a really good tool to clone really any voice, similar to what you could do with 11 Labs. It's got token flow in it, which does things similar to what you get out of Gen 1 from Runway. It's got model scope video to video and image to video if you're running with an NVIDIA GPU, so probably not gonna work on a Mac. It's also got Comfy UI, which is a tool to generate AI generated images with stable diffusion. And I've kind of steered clear of it because these spaghetti bowl looking images have really overwhelmed me, but I think I'm this close to diving in a little bit deeper on it and playing with it some more. It's got Animate Diff, which allows you to generate AI generated videos. And of course you can even do things like Automatic 1111, which is the interface that you normally see with something like Stable Diffusion. And this is just a handful of featured scripts that are recommended. There's a lot more scripts that are available as well. And now that I've had some friends properly vet it for me and tell me that it's a safe tool to use, Let's go ahead and download it and try a few of these add-ons and see if it's as good as everybody claims it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this. You can see that we do have options for Windows, M1 and M2 Max, Intel Max, and Linux. So let's go ahead and download it for Windows here. I have a folder on my computer called AI. I just created a new folder called Pinocchio. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in here and unzip it to this specific folder. Now it does say Windows protected your PC, but I'm gonna go ahead and run anyway. I'm gonna make sure it's installed in this new folder that I just created and I'm a dark theme kind of guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it to dark theme and we'll click save. Now the first issue I'm running into, it seems to only wanna let me install it in this folder. I can't install it on a separate hard drive. So I guess I'm just gonna let it install it where it wants to because whenever I change this, it throws up an error. And this looks like this is the Pinocchio browser here. So I'm gonna go ahead and full screen this here. Let's click on the discover page. And now it takes us back to this page where we have all of these various tools that we can install directly into Pinocchio. The first one that I think makes sense to install is probably Automatic 1111. This is the one that I use the most to generate AI images. So we'll go ahead and click this and select download on Stable Diffusion. It's telling me there's some other stuff required to install. And I believe if I just click install, it will go ahead and install all that for me. Now I do have all these things installed on my computer, but it must need to install them specifically for this browser. So I'll go ahead and click install. And you can see down here, it says installing Conda. So it looks like it will go through and install each of the required tools. All right, so it looks like it finally installed all of the prerequisites. It took a good seven minutes or so to do that. And then it put me back to this page. So I think I need to click download again. We'll go ahead and download the SD web UI pinocchio.git. Now it looks like it's asking me if I want to install Stable Diffusion XL or Stable Diffusion 1.5. I kind of want them both, but let's go ahead and start with XL. So it finished downloading the Stable Diffusion models. It took about three minutes to download the models. 
Now it looks like it's installing all of the necessary files to actually run Stable Diffusion. So that took about six more minutes and then it just launched Stable Diffusion right inside of my main browser. So it didn't seem to launch Stable Diffusion inside of this Pinocchio browser here. The Pinocchio browser just seems to run the install for you. Once it's installed, you get a little launch button here. And when you actually do launch it, it opens it in whatever your default browser is. Under my Stable Diffusion checkpoint, you can see it added the Stable Diffusion XL base model. And I should be able to, let's set the sampling steps to 40 here and do a prompt, a wolf walking in a snowy forest. I click generate and there we go. We got a seemingly five legged wolf walking in a forest but Stable Diffusion isn't the only thing that Pinocchio makes it really easy to install. In fact, there's a lot of other things that I've come across on GitHub that I've wanted to play with, but I haven't taken the time to learn how to set them up on my computer. And a lot of these tools are just built into Pinocchio where you can install them really easily. Tools like Face Fusion, which is a face swapper tool, and this XTTS or Koki or Kokui, I don't know how it's pronounced where you can clone a voice similar to 11 labs. There's other tools like token flow and animate diff and comfy UI, which are all tools I want to play with over time. But let's go ahead and set up face fusion where we can do our own face swapping. I'll click download on this one because I'm running on an Nvidia GPU. I'm going to select install for CUDA and then click install. And there's a couple prerequisites here that it's going to go ahead and install for me in this process. All right, install success. That took a good, I don't know, six or seven minutes here. Okay, so I'm gonna set the face swapper and the face enhancer. I'm gonna leave these as the default. Make sure my execution provider is CUDA since I am using an NVIDIA GPU. If you're not, I'd set it on CPU. Execution thread count, I'm gonna put it at 16 here. Two count one, max memory. I'm gonna leave everything kind of the default. Now the source, this is where I'm gonna drag and drop my image. I'm going to make myself look like Dave Grohl here as my test. So I'll go ahead and put Dave Grohl in as the source for the target. This is where I'm gonna to toss my video. For video, I just have this random clip of myself doing an intro to one of my other videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that in as my target here. And I have face analysis left to right, face analysis age is adult, gender is male. So I'm just gonna prop off a bunch on the front here. This is funny, I can actually sort of skim through my preview frames here and see what it thinks my face would look like if I put Dave Grohl over it, the most notable feature here being the teeth. <laughs> I think that's pretty hilarious, but let's go ahead and click start and see how it renders out this video with Dave Grohl's face. All right, so it took roughly seven minutes and here's what we got from our face swap. So I have a habit of collecting AI research and just stockpiling really, really cool stuff that I come across. It really thinks uh, Dave Grohl's teeth are pretty pronounced. <laughs> I like it though. All right, so I'm gonna jump back over to Pinocchio here and let's see what else we got. I'm gonna click on our Discover tab. We've tried Face Fusion. We've tried Automatic 1111. Let's go ahead and install this XTTS and do some voice cloning and see how that does. I'll go ahead and click download here. All right, so we have install success. I'll click done here and let's launch it. All right, well, it's taken a few minutes and it seems to have gotten stuck loading this XTTS here. I have no idea why it's been on this page for about 10 minutes, so I'm pretty sure it's hung up. I do see that there's some sort of JSON error here, expecting value, error value from none, JSON decode error. So don't think this XTTS is quite working properly in Pinocchio. So I'm gonna go ahead and click stop and we will have to try something else. Go back to our discover tab here. They also do have bark voice cloning. So let's see if maybe we can get this one to work. All right, so we got install success. Let's go ahead and start. I seem to be getting the same issues when trying to run bark as well through Pinocchio. There's an error down here that says pickle dot unpickling error invalid load key. So far, I'm about 50% with Pinocchio where I got face fusion and stable diffusion working just fine, but XTTS and bark, no goes. But I have popped into the Pinocchio Discord and asked for some help around some of the issues I'm running into. They did say that the XTTS issue is a known issue. So that's apparently not working for a lot of people right now but they did say bark should work. So I am waiting for some sort of fix on that. And if they actually get back to me in the course of me recording this video, I'll share that fix. But let's go ahead and try something else here. Let's set up illusion diffusion. 
All right, so we got Illusion Diffusion up and running. It seemed to work on the first try. This one was actually created by a buddy of mine who goes by AP or Angry Penguin on Twitter. So if you're not following him, make sure you are. He shares a lot of cool AI stuff on his Twitter. But this one, you've probably seen a whole bunch of stuff go viral. Let's go ahead and try a checkerboard pattern here as our input illusion. And for the prompt, let's do an urban downtown city. We'll leave the negative prompt as low quality and I'll leave the advanced options as the defaults and let's just go ahead and run it. And it was almost instant. However, the illusion's a little more subtle than I'd like. You can tell it did sort of follow the squares, but I think I want to crank the illusion strength up a little bit. Let's just set it at one and see what we get out of it. And this one's almost immediate too. Like these images generate like really quick. You can see it worked again. You kind of got to squint at it to really see the checkerboard, but it's definitely working. Let's try it with the swirls just for fun. Run that one. Illusion's definitely more apparent with the swirls, but it also, I don't know how common clouds like this are. I did hear back from the Pinocchio team. They pointed me to this thread about XTTS and said that it's a known issue with XTTS and not actually an issue with Pinocchio. Let's try a couple more tools here real quick. Let's play around with token flow, which should be similar to like what you'd get out of gen one from runway. So let's download that one. Took about two minutes to install. So let's go ahead and launch it. And we've got our screen to play around with token flow. So I have this B-roll of a robot typing at a computer. Let's see if I can make it look like a zombie typing at a computer. I'll drag this video into my input video here. Let's do a bloody decaying zombie typing at a computer since it is Halloween on the day that I'm recording this and click edit your video. So it took about a minute and a half here and it generated a two second clip. Let's see what it gave us. Definitely much more zombie like. It looks sort of like a zombie robot. It also kind of messed with the aspect ratio a little bit, but there are some other options we can play around with here under the general options and plug and play parameters. So more stuff that you can play around with here but this gives you an output similar to what you'd expect from a Runway Gen 1. Let's go ahead and try one last tool here just for fun. Make sure that the majority of this stuff works. I know Bark and XTTS was giving us issues. Do you really wanna get one of the text large language models to work? So let's go ahead and try text generation web UI and install Uba Booga. All right, it's installed, moment of truth. Let's see if this one works. It looks like it loaded just fine, but I do not have any sort of large language model downloaded yet. So I'm gonna click on model up here. It would be kind of cool if over here they had some links to existing models that they recommend, but they don't seem to do that. So we need to go find one on Hugging Face real quick. I think I'm gonna go with the Mistral 7B Open Orca. So can I just grab this URL here and put it right here. It seems to be downloading the model, but one thing to keep in mind that this model is over 14 gigabytes. So could take a minute here. All right, so it looks like it is done downloading. Go ahead and click on this refresh button up here. And now we have open Orca Mistral 7B as an option. After loading the model, I had to hit reload and now it says successfully loaded open Orca. And let's jump over to our chat window here and say, write me a poem about wolves who love AI. And just like what you'd normally be used to with one of your other chat apps, we get a poem about AI. However, it did cut off right here. So if I jump into my parameters tab, I should be able to up the number of tokens here and let's click regenerate. This time it seemed to have generate a full poem. So now we have our own large language model running locally on our computer, not sending data to OpenAI, not sending data to Microsoft or Google or anybody. This is completely local and I can run this even without internet right now if I wanted to. All right, so my final thoughts here on this Pinocchio tool, it seems to work with most apps really, really well. However, it is sort of at the mercy of the various files that are available on the GitHub repositories for these various tools. So if, for example, XTTS isn't working with the code on GitHub, well, then it's not gonna work very well on Pinocchio. So they are kind of at the mercy of some of the tool creators. However, it seems like most of the tools I've tried work. I was able to do token flow, which gave me like a gen one effect. I was able to run stable diffusion. I was able to run Uba Booga. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not, but it's fun to say. I was able to run illusion diffusion. I was able to run face fusion. Finally, right as I was about to stop this recording, I got another message from Cocktail Peanut here inside of Discord saying, by the way, I just tried Bark myself and it turns out it indeed was broken today. It broke because of the new Gradio 4.0 that just went live today, which seems to have made some breaking changes. I rolled back the Gradio version to an older version and now I can confirm it's working. So by the time you watch this video, 
most likely the Bark voice cloning is also going to be working. This is essentially a beta product. It is very, very early. They are making updates every single day to this and adding new features and adding new models that you can play with because they're not the ones actually creating a lot of these models. Some of them are gonna break sometimes. That's just the way it's going to be. However, it is the easiest way to install some of these models that I've come across at all. You just install Pinocchio and then any model you wanna run is like another one-click install. Yes, the installs take, you know, anywhere from five to 10 minutes to install, but that's usually because it's downloading a bunch of stuff from the internet and then running an install from them. I've also found the Pinocchio Discord to be super helpful. Cocktail Peanut himself is in there answering questions and when bugs pop up, he seems to be looking into them and trying to fix them really, really quickly. So they are really, really on top of it. Man, this is cool. This is how I'm going to use Face Fusion and Illusion Diffusion and any sort of locally trained large language models. This is the way to go, honestly. Check them out. You can find them again over at Pinocchio.computer. This isn't a sponsored video for them. This tool doesn't even cost money. It's free. The people building it seem to be just building it because they really enjoy building it and they wanted to make something useful for the community. There is nothing for sale here. It is just a free and really, really easy to use, easy install platform that works on any computer type. If you really wanna stay in the loop with all the latest cool AI tools that are coming out, make sure you check out futuretools.io. This is where I curate all the latest cool AI tools that I come across. I also keep up to date on the AI news on a daily basis here. And I have a free newsletter where I will send you the latest AI tools, latest AI news, directly to your email inbox. You can find it all over at futuretools.io. If you enjoy this video, maybe give it a thumbs up and I'd love it if you subscribe to this channel because I'm making AI tutorials and AI news videos and cool future tech breakdowns all the time, all the cool nerdy stuff that if you're watching this video, you probably love that kind of stuff too. So I don't think you'll regret subscribing. So maybe give it a shot and We'll try my best to put really good content in front of you. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Really, really appreciate you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.